hey there today we're going to be having a look at a really cool new release from sonoff this time it's a pan tilt indoor camera with 1080p and it's got rtsp streaming so this camera is pretty affordable at 21 dollars 17 it offers smart night vision with infrared lights it's got full 360 degree panoramic view it's also got human detection as well as motion detection with zones and you can have up to six preset points that you can monitor so it's got local storage with an sd card for up to 128 gig it can be paired up for two-way talk with the ns panel pro giving you both video and audio we've got our f 2.0 lens we've got a little blue led that's telling us that we're recording at the moment then we've got our two spotlights as well as two infrareds for nighttime vision we've got the microphone over here on the underside here we've got our sd card slot along with a reset button on the one side we've got our speaker and on the underside we've got a clip where you can clip in a mount to mount this on the wall we've got a qr code for pairing and we've got our usb-c cable for powering the device setup is pretty basic just open up the ewe link app add the device scan it using the qr code on the underside it'll then start adding the device so add device plug it in long press the pairing button for five seconds next check the wi-fi led indicator flashing status two long and one short flash means that it's in the pairing mode now it'll ask you to select your wi-fi and there it's connected settings on the camera are pretty easy we access via the three dots over there so we've got our motion detection where we can use either mo moving objects or human ai detection we can set our detection zone we can also select the level medium low or high sensitivity as well as selecting a period for the detection um, we've also got smart tracking this will mean that the camera tracks you as you move around the room um, we can select our local recording so i've inserted an sd card when you put a new card in you need to go and format the card which is a pretty quick process we can select re uh, loop recording so it will just keep recording over as it runs out of card in order to get this into home assistant we need to go into more settings and rtsp streaming we need to enable the rtsp stream and we can then create an rtsp link there we go we'll copy that now we open up home assistant we go to settings devices and services and we go and add a generic camera like that and we want to put in the rtsp stream so that's our streaming source we just paste it in over there and we submit that so having a look at our generic camera integration you can see we've got a pretty good image coming through there if we blow that up to full size you'll see that, that 1080p gives us a really beautiful clear image so the automatic tracking feature does work however sometimes it does seem to go back and forth a little bit trying to find on where it should be focusing so overall i think value for money this camera is really great if you're looking for a simple pan tilt camera that you can use indoors and that you can connect easily to home assistant using the rtsp stream then i would definitely go for this camera anyway that's all from now if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe i have linked i left a link in the description below to the camera and i'll see you in the next one bye for now